All right, and then you know James Hopwood. Okay. Yes, hello Mr. Hopwood, uh, it's Mr. Hussain here, we spoke uh, last week, I was expecting a call from you yesterday. Um, so I didn't, um, so I've, I've passed on your message. No, um, when we spoke last week, uh, um, I sprang yourself up, I wanted to speak to uh, the new finance director, I didn't know who that was, uh, and you said somebody was handling my queries and that you would get back in touch with me on Monday to let me know. That's, I think, is that not correct? Is that not where we left things? Um, just, so I thought just if I got it wrong, what, what I thought I said is like, there's, there's an individual who's been assigned to deal with your um, queries. Uh, who is that individual? Um, so, so, I'm, so I'm not giving the name because I'm, because I'm not absolutely sure myself. So, so I sent off an email to, to ask them. Uh, all right, who did you send that email to? Well, can, can I ask who it is? Because I understand that you've been asked to contact somebody. I don't know. So, 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 so my understanding is that you've been asked to go through someone. Who is that? Council specifically. Yeah, who is that? So, so you haven't been then on that basis? No, no, I haven't, no. Okay, so all I can, because also I don't want to be kind of giving out the wrong person's name, so, so, um, so, what, so I sent off an email to them last week asking them to confirm my understanding that they ought to be dealing with your issues, um, and I tried to give them a ring. On Monday. Are you talking about legal? So, 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 so my, my, my understanding, and, and I could be wrong, I haven't confirmed it, was that um, a, a particular deal with, with your issues and that, they, and that they were dealing with the issues that, that you were raising. Um, so so I, I sort of contacted them um, to, to, to tell them that obviously you, you're wanting some additional contact um, and I've tried to contact them yesterday to confirm whether that's the case or not. So I'm, I'm not being um, difficult, I'm just, so, so, so I'm not absolutely certain that person is the, is the person that's been assigned. So, so but obviously if you've not been told that you've been, um, that the person has been assigned, then someone's got their wires crossed somewhere, so, so I need to get hold of that person, don't I? Oh, okay, and uh, that's fair enough, but you do understand that you're being quite, kind of uh, um, vague and uh, evasive in this matter, um, considering that, uh, and I'd, please forgive me for this, but, uh, um, you know, the information that you're telling me, I, I think I last spoke to you uh, sometime in September, October last year, I've had other pressing matters to deal with, and uh, what you're telling me is uh, um, that somebody's been allocated to me, and that was not made clear to me at the time, uh, I, 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 otherwise I would have been liaising with them directly, I've obviously had other issues to deal with regarding uh, regarding the local authority which are a higher uh, higher priority to me it's only now that i've got around to uh, looking through some outstanding issues and determine that these remain matters still remain outstanding i've also further been advised that uh, the um, the previous finance director has left so all i've done is write a ring back saying can i speak to the new finance director is there a new finan finance director or is there an interim finance director can you clarify that point to me um, so, so, so at the moment we've just got an interim in, um, but, uh, so, so, but I, I think what I need to do is, is contact the person who I've told has been assigned to deal with. Yeah, or, uh, rather than being vague, is it Mr. Mark St. Romain? Um, um, that, 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 that's, that's, not, that's not the person, but the, 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 so, so the, the, the issue is, as I understand, it's also been assigned to deal with your case. And it's not Mark St. Romain? Um, no, no. Okay, all right. Well, uh, 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 that's what I'm trying to find out. So, so, so what I need to do is give them a ring and, and say, you've rung me back again. So, so, so I've pulled up your uh, um, phone call to me on Friday with an email and a phone call yesterday. Okay, all right. So, so, so I now need to... But, but who are you contacting? Can you not give me their name? Because I might be giving you the wrong person. No, no, but it's okay. You've contacted them. You, you don't, you're not giving me the wrong name. You, have, you know who they are. Have you contacted, is it first in England? Who it is is supposed to be dealing with your... Yeah, yeah, but who have you asked that query to? 
Okay. I'm not asking. I'm not asking uh, who's are dealing. Uh, who have you made that query to? You must have made it to somebody. Did you make it to Pavi Nakta, which is the legal city solicitor? So I, I, I could be giving you the wrong person. No, no, but it won't be giving me the wrong person because you you contacted them. Uh, I'm not asking to, who, who's been assigned to me. I'm asking who did you contact to determine who's been signed to me? Yeah, what what I'm saying is there's no point in me giving you the wrong. Well, there is because I'm asking. Oh come on, Mr. Hopwood! You've been just being evasive now. I'm just asking for the name that you of the person that you contacted to determine who the name of the person that should be assigned to me. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, and what, what I'm saying is that you're conv- you're confusing the two matters. You contacted a, an individual to determine which individual should be uh, sp- I should be speaking to. I don't care about which individual I should be speaking to. I just want the name of the person that you contacted. Sorry, so, so if I can just finish. I'll have, okay, go on. I have to listen to you. So, so what what I'm trying to do now is is to is to try and make sure I find out who this person is and to check and understand what's happening. Because obviously, if you've not been told, then from your point of view, um, you know you you you're left really confused. Um, from my point of view, um, my understanding was that you were um, uh, you know find a, a person. So, so that therefore I should be directing the queries to that person. Yes, but. Whom have you made inquiries to? Whom have you made inquiries to? Not not the person that should that should be allocated to me. Whom have you made inquiries to? Have you made those inquiries to senior? So, so I'm saying you're just repeating yourself. No, no, but I'm, you're not, you're not, you're av- 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 avoiding the, uh, answering the question. No, I've explained why I'm not answering the question. No, you can say to me, I don't want to disclose that information. You've not said that. You can't. You can say to me, Mister Hussain, I don't want to disclose the information of the person that I have contacted to determine who you should be contacting. Who? You've, 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 yeah, you've, tri- you've tried to email and phone call whom? Whom have you contacted? You've rung me back again today. You see, you're avoiding the answering that. You're like a politician. You should go into politics. Because I'm asking a specific question, Mr. Upwood. Whom have you contacted? So, so can I suggest that you... No, no, you're not answering the question, are you? I don't need your suggestion. Whom have you contacted in Bradford Council to determine uh, the information to? Whom have you contacted? Is it legal? Is it the senior directors? No, because you're not answering the question. But I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying to resolve your issue. Well, no, no, no. I don't want you to my issue to resolve. I'm asking a simple question. Whom have you contacted? You can say it to me. Why don't you just say to me, Mr. Hussain, I don't want to disclose that information. No, what, what I said to you is I don't want to give you... The... No, no. Th- you don't want to give me the wrong information regarding whom I should be speaking to. But my question, that's not the question I'm asking you. The question I'm asking you is whom have you spoken to? So, so what I said... Oh, come on, Mr. Hopwood. It's a simple question. Whom have you spoken to? So, can you let me finish? So, so I've said, I've said quite a few times now to you, but, um, so I, uh, that I don't want to give you that person's name. Okay, all right. So th- that's the end of conversation. Then, if you don't want to, if you don't want to disclose the information of the person that you've contacted, that's fair enough. Say that to me. Yeah, I'm telling you halfway through. So, so, I, so I've said quite a few times to you that I don't want to give you the person's name because that might not, might that might turn out to be the person. Uh, see, I'm not asking about the person that has been assigned. I'm asking whom have you contacted? What I'm saying is that there's no point in me giving... No, I, I, the, the, the point is that I'm asking for that information. You can either choose to disclose that information, which you do know, uh, irrespective of the, inf- the party that I should be dealing with, which you probably don't know. But the party that you have contacted, all I'm asking is their name. All you can say to me is, Mr. Hussain, I don't want to give you that information. No, what I'm saying to you. No, no, I don't, let's move on from that. I'm not asking that question. I'm asking whom have you contacted? So you're just repeating yourself over and over. Yeah, because you're not answering, the, you're answering a different question. You're, uh, I'm asking one question, you're answering a different question. I'm not asking that question. I'm asking whom have you contacted on Friday and yesterday? Whom have you emailed and whom have you telephoned? But all, uh, what I've said to you over and over again is that I'm not going to give you that person. Okay, no, no, you haven't told me that before. All right, you're not prepared to give me that person's name. That's fair enough. End of conversation. Thank you. That, that's all I'm trying to do. You just, all you need to say is I don't want to disclose that information. No, I'm not saying I don't want to disclose the information. I'm saying I could be giving you the wrong person's name. No, no, the information that I'm asking, the quest, the information I'm asking for is whom you've contacted. You don't want to disclose that information and you would rather wait until you have the information regarding whom I should contact. That's, that's the situation, isn't it? You want to you wait until you hear back from the person X 
regarding whom I should be speaking to, which is person Y. And you don't want to give me the incorrect person, the person's name regarding Y. But I'm asking, uh, my question was regarding who is X that you're speaking to. You're not going to give me that information and you're going to hold fire until X contacts you and tells you that Mr. Hussain should be dealing with Y. That's correct, yes? Which person are you trying to get a hold of? <sighs> this is very, very confusing, sir. Look, just, just explain it to me so we can end this conversation. So, what I want to do mm -hmm. is to find out who has been trying to deal with your issues. Mm -hmm. um, I've understand it. An individual in the council has been trying to deal with your, in, with your issues. Okay. Okay, and who, uh, my question is, whom are you going to contact? And so you just, and, I, and, I, and I said to you that, that until I know who it is who has been assigned to deal with your issues, then I'm not going to start giving out you know, people's names until I know who it is who should be dealing with, who has been assigned with your issues. Yes, so but, that, but that's not the question. I'm asking whom are you going to con make those inquiries with? Rather, whom are you going to inquire this information from? Because you're refusing to give me that information and you you can just, and I've given you an option of saying, you you should say to me, Mr. Hussain, I'm not prepared to give you that individual's name. I've explained to you, I've explained, I've, I've explained to you that I don't want to give you the wrong name. No, no, that's regarding whom I should be inquiring with, whom should be deal, I should be dealing with. I'm asking whom are you going to be making inquiries to uh, regarding whom I should be dealing with. Yeah, yeah, you're saying it's irrelevant. I think it's relevant. Well, that's fine. So can we have a, a, a yeah, yeah. So the, let's focus in on this. Now. You believe that that the last person X and that and disclosing that name to me is irrelevant, and you don't want to disclose Mr. X's name. And I'm saying that's fair enough. But just I don't care about Mr. Y. You're gonna find <laughs> you're gonna find out about Mr. Y, whom, whom I should be dealing with. Can you tell me when you will let me know? Mm -hmm. I, on your behalf, mm -hmm. try to contact and find out the person who I understand has been assigned to you. Uh -huh. What I would like to do is to try again uh -huh. uh, to find out that person. Obviously, uh, I see where the confusion lies. So you've contacted, tried to contact Mr. Y, and that's why you don't want to give me that name. You've not contacted a third party, have you? I, I think the, the, the thing is that you've only contacted one person that you presume is the person that I should be dealing with. You've not made inquiries from a third party that is that the person. Okay, all right, go ahead. No, no, sir, I'm not going around around. I, I, this telephone call is costing me my time and money. I've got better things to do, and I'm sure you have too, sir, than me for me to go around the roundabout. I'm just see, looking to, I'm calling up today to try to seek some clarity. So what I'm proposing to do... Okay. Is, ...is to try again. Obviously, it has been two days, and I would have liked to have found out who, 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 and if, because obviously you're, you're saying somebody hasn't been assigned. I don't think so, no. Okay. Okay. Therefore, if that is the case, then I can get them to get into contact with you. Uh huh. And feedback the fact that you, you, your, your understanding is that you've raised issues and you're not getting a response. That's okay, all right. That's that's how that's the how you're proposing to resolve our outstanding issue. What I'm proposing, how I'm proposing to resolve the outstanding issue, is to speak to the interim financial director. Okay. So, so, obviously, I've tried twice, and what I'm proposing to do, I, I could have done 10 or 15 minutes ago, right? I don't know if we've been talking 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. So, so, so what, I could have, what I could have done is, is obviously, I could have tried to get to the bottom of that for you on your behalf so that I can respond to the query you've raised. 
Yeah, 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 I understand. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, but you would not even start that if I hadn't called you up. I've just said, so, so, so I've told you, haven't I, that I, I sent an email on your behalf on Friday. Yes. And that I phoned, that I phoned yesterday to try and follow it up. Yeah, but you didn't tell me who you sent the email to. So, so we've, we've been down that path, haven't we? <laughs> okay, all right. And you're refusing to give me that information. But why are you not saying that? Because that is the fact, isn't it? You're refusing to give me the information of the person you contacted. So we're just going to go down the same path again, aren't we? So well, why don't you say that? I'm, yes, I'm refusing. Why, why can't I get you to stick to one, one uh, uh, obvious fact? You have not given me the information of the person you contacted on Friday. Because that's, that's, your, that's your language. What I've said, what I've said to you is that... <laughs> and now you're going to use your language. Look, sir, I, I don't mean to take any more of your time. You, Please contact whom you need to contact to determine who I need to speak to. Alternatively, please let the interim di uh, finance di director know that I would like to speak to them regarding outstanding issues regarding um, the previous finance director, which was Mr. Cookham. So, so what I'm now going to try and do okay. is, 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 is I'm going to try to get to the bottom of whether or not someone has been signed to deal with your query. Okay, all right. Okay. Can, can you answer? Mm -hmm. Then I need to. I need to sort of. Then, if it's the case that somebody hasn't been assigned, uh -huh. then I need to understand why we got to that position. Uh -huh. So that's my. Uh, okay. Well, I, I. You know, I. 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 I'm in agreement with you because that seems to like a reasonable way forward. But if it's determined that. Um, somebody hasn't been assigned to me and uh, you want to find out why that is the case that does not resolve this, my situation just because you've not allocated somebody does not resolve the situation does it? But would, wouldn't, wouldn't you like to let me have a go at trying to do it? Yeah no I would I, I, like I said I'm, I'm in agreement with you and I would like you to proceed so that's what I would like you to do but um, the options are that uh, there is a potential option that you will go find out that no, it's, that, that I, am, I am correct and nobody has been allocated uh, and therefore we're back at square one. Mr. Saint, now, obviously people might be going home at this time, I don't know, obviously you will me, I've, I've said to you oh. quite twice, I will try and okay, all right, okay. get to the bottom of this. Okay, today's Tuesday, I think... Um, if I can pencil in that you will contact me or I should get a contact back by Friday, before Friday. Is that okay? You have you have all day tomorrow, all day Thursday, uh, and you can simply send me an email by Friday, end of play Friday, saying, Mr. Hussain, um, this is the person you need to be dealing with. They should contact you. If they haven't contacted you, these are their contact details. And I will let, leave this matter to rest until next Monday. I think that's fair, no? I, th I think what I'll, what I'll do is I'll try and contact this, uh, get to the bottom of who I think has been assigned. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, Mr. No, not later this week. I won't be ringing you this week. I'm going to ring you now next week. Right. Okay, so I'm giving you ample time. Mr. Cook, can I, uh, can I uh, sorry, Mr. Hopwood, can I ask uh, how long have you been with the council? Same. This has been going on for some time now. I suggest you let me. Uh, I'm asking just a personal question. Okay, because I would just like to say that I think you make an excellent politician. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> okay, Mr. Hopwood. I will hopefully, uh, no, I hope and I don't need to speak to you next week, but uh, if I don't hear anything back, I'll look to contact you next week then. Okay, okay, Mr. Hopwood. Goodbye. So that's nearly 20 minutes that this guy is being so evasive, all right? This is the normal reaction. This is the normal reaction of the Bradford Council. They will, this is, I mean, this is nothing unusual. This is exactly how, they don't want to give you the information. They have had a 20 minute conversation with this guy. Simple question, whom have you contacted? Who's that Mr. X that you've contacted? To ask them the question, who is Mr. Y that Mr. Hussein needs to be speaking to? Simple. I mean, it doesn't get much more complicated than that. You've, he's clearly 
told me he's contacted somebody, then why, why not say I've contacted somebody that Mr. X, I'm not willing to disclose to you. I don't think it's relevant. He said it's not relevant. I said it's relevant because I'm asking. Um, and so we've had a 20 minute conversation that could have been simply avoided. And he goes, this is what I would like to do. This is what I would like to do. Okay, but you're not answering any any specific question. You're being vague and abstract. I've asked, have you spoken to the legal department? Is it Kirsten England? Is it Mark St. Romain? Whom? Who, who is it? I like to be specific. And he wants to be general now. Okay, he wants to be general and abstract and oh, and and, and not be committed and not committal to anything. All right. And... Uh, so this is the situation with these people. They're trying to be vague and abstract in order to uh, trying to be vague and abstract in order to uh, achieve their uh, nefarious agenda. And all I'm trying to do is get them to commit to something. All right, and they're they're choosing not to commit to anything, and rather than coming out with these allegations about hearsay or about this happened, that happened. That's their interpretation. That's not something I recognize. And similarly, he says that's your language. Well, that's my language. You're using your language. Why should I accept any of your own your language? You're using your language to advantage you. I'm using my language to advantage me. Now it's a simple question, and you know it took over nearly 20 minutes just to get this to get to the bottom of this information that I'm just simply asking. You know, whom are you contacting? All right, give me a name. I'm giving you names, specific names. Mark St. Romain, Kirsten England. Is it the directors, Andrew Cookham? All right, who, what is the name of the interim director? Not willing to give me anything. I don't want to give you the wrong information. You're not giving me any information. This is a technique that they use over and over again here yeah, to try to confuse and convolute us the situation. 20 minutes later, because I, I could have spent that time getting in touch with somebody. Well, you should have done that beforehand. All right, nobody's got back in touch with me. I'm ringing you up again. You promised you were going to speak to me on Monday. All right, you said, I promise, I'm gonna, I promise you, I'm going to contact you on Monday. All right, you never got my contact, contact me back on Monday, so now I'm ringing you up on Tuesday. All right, and now they 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 just you know fobbing me off, absolutely ridiculous.